Okay, guys, so this is part three, I think. Yeah, part two or part three, I'm not sure. Part three to What If Deku Was the Avatar. This might be the last video I'm recording today. But yeah. What If Deku Was the Avatar? I believe I've left off af like I finished the quirk assessment test, I think. But I'm not sure. You guys just tell me. So you guys just tell me if I like. If I didn't finish it or not, like if I didn't do the quirk assessment test, then just tell me. Anyways, I'm gonna go after today the or go to the. What am I talking about? I'm going to do the. Uh, part for the hero versus villains. So everyone gets their outfit, and Deku's outfit is a bit weird. They don't know what his out. They don't know what his outfit is based off of. So he has two. Thin but strong packs of water on his sides. He also has some like little, basically some little like wheels of like metal on his sides, as well like on his legs. Actually, I say the water would be like would be on his legs. Like they'd have the water stretched out, like packs protected. We'd be stretched out on his legs, and the wheels of metal would be on his sides. He his suit would also be fire protect or uh, fireproof or fire resistant. And then we also have his wingsuit. I was I was talking to someone earlier. They asked me, like, oh, when is Deku going to get the avatar? Well, see, like he asked. Like, how much control does Deku have over the Avatar state? I was like, none. He'd lose control instantly. Then he, we were talking for a bit. He asked me to give Deku the uh, staff. I was thinking of the wingsuit. He asked that it would take too long. I asked, I didn't know what he meant, but take too long. So I asked him what, but I haven't got a reply from him yet. Either he did comment back, but it just didn't pop up for me. I'm going to check in a little bit. But yeah. What if Deku was the Avatar? Part 3. So yeah. So Deku walks out. They don't know what his suit is. They don't know what his hero suit is. He has like little wings on his back that he can attach and detach. He has these metal wheel or like wheels with metal like string on them. He also has this just... What is it like? Just... Oh, what is it called? These, like, water bags on his sides. So, they don't know what's going on. They ask him, what is his suit? Like, why is his suit like that? Deku says, well, his suit is just... Eh. He designed his suit to be like this. It's not the most flashiest thing. It actually looks a bit weird. But, it works. So, I feel like, as he's walking, some people notice, like, his legs are, like jiggling a bit like water they ask like why is his legs like that he says oh that's just the water in a suit he's like water in the suit like why do you have water in your suit i think some of them wouldn't know that deku has water he'd say oh he can manipulate water okay so i think one of them would say that so you have so you have four quirks give me a second <sighs> my brother is knowing me again anyway he says that he technically only has one quirk that just allows him to bend or manipulate different elements in, like, just different elements in the advanced versions of them. And they're like, the advanced versions of them? What do you mean the advanced version? That says that, oh, each element has, like, different, like, versions of it. Saying so that you have their four basic ones, water, uh, fire, earth, and air. Saying that for like earth, I can bend metal and sand. He says I might be able to do lava since it's just compressed, like superheated uh, rock. I might be able to do it. For water, he says he's able to bend uh, or like make ice and shoot it, but he's also able to use the water to like somewhat heal people. Almost, I think this would be the first time All Might's heard of this. Because I don't think I had Deku heal All Might. So this would be the first time uh, All Might has heard of this, and he 
that he can heal people with his water. I'm gonna need to ask him if he can heal me then. So, Deku would also say that he could all, with his fire, there's like really only one advanced version of it that he knows of, which is the lightning, which he can do. Saying that it, it's less of like bending it and more of only being able to do like one sort of attack with it. Saying that he can charge up lightning and shoot it in one direction, that's really it. So, he, because this is really all he can do, or that he knows he might be able to do. Then, some people are about to ask him what he can do, but All Might interrupts them, saying that. Well, now they have to get to their training. Like, their exercise, basically. So, uh, just recommending this stuff. Anyway, what if Deku was the Avatar Part 4? So, Deku would be ready to fight. Everyone would do about the same. But when it comes to Deku and Oraka, people are staring at Deku too because it still looks weird. And at this point, they're out there and Deku asks for Oraka what they should do. Deku says that he is going to go on the top and start from the bottom saying that he has a an ability that he can use to instantly find where Bako and Ida are so Aura is like what so I think at the bottom of Deku's shoes it would be like the metal just like uh what's her name like soy foam or something well that's a whole nother person um basically Toph's daughter's uh, shoes are they have like metal at the bottom of them so they can bend them. Yeah, it's like that. So Deku basically flies to the top of the building. So he basically just jumps actually. With uh he doesn't even fly or glide, he just jumps. And people are wondering what he's doing. He basically pulls his hand back a little and he stomps on the ground. And he's feeling where Baku and Ida are, and he feels them. So Deku at this point says that uh, he says that or he's basically all rock still on the ground he uses uh, his communication or basically a uh, earpiece to tell or tell Rocka that they are in like I don't remember what floor just say like the fifth floor on the right side of the building just how does he know Deku says it's just part of his uh, bending he learned how to feel vibrations in the earth through extensive training, just in case he ever got blinded, he could still see by the vibrations. She's like, what do you mean got blinded? Like, if you ever went blind, Deku says, no, not if ever. He said he could use them if he ever did go blind, but, like, if someone has some type of, a t like, ability to take away someone's, like, uh, sight or, like, blind them for a quick second, he says he could just use that. She says, okay, I guess I'll trust you. So she starts going up the building. Deku, what he does is he just earth bends uh, part of the like, roof off and drops down. And he does that for each floor until he asks where Orok is. And eventually, I'd say she actually got taken out by Bakugo. He kept questioning her, yelling at her, screaming, like, where's, where's Deku? Where is he? Just like yelling all this stuff like, Weakling, where is he? Just all that different stuff. Uh, uh, to Waraka. She'd be, like, upset. Some of the people are like, he's a jerk. And, eventually, Waraka would just, like, grab her earpiece and say that she got captured, or she would not even be able to tell. So Deku would basically use size to make sense again. And, he would be able to feel, like, Baku was near Waraka, and she has, like, this tape around her, so he's, like, Crap, she got taken out. So he says, fine, I got this. And I'd say he's right below the floor with Ida. So he, basically, what he does is he grabs his hand and he hits the floor. The entire roof in front of Ida basically collapses. And they're like, what the? As he basically stomps on the earth, 
and then pushes all the rock at Ida. Ida quickly like runs out of the way. Deku says he's fast. Deku says he's fast. But I got this. I've been training. All I have to do is rely on the skills that I've learned. So what he does is he goes for a kick. Not a kick. Ida goes for a kick. And Deku's like, no. Earth Pillar. As Ida kicks the Earth Pillar, he stops mid-kick. He's like, because he was about to kick it. He's like, no, got to stop, got to stop. So he basically, he still does hit the Rock Pillar. But Deku, what he's thinking, if he can find a way to slow him down, and he does know a way to slow him down. So he basically stomps his feet on the ground, holding his hands and twisting his hands. Basically what he's doing is sort of how Toph can turn uh, sand into like hard stone. I want to say that Deku takes a bit, but he can take the other sand, or like the dust and everything, grinding it against the other, like, the other stones making more using that to make even more but there's quite a bit of dust from him basically collapsing the floor so he basically does that and he actually makes sand and like what the as Ida basically tries to take a step he's like he, get, he basically tries to run at Deku and he accidentally slips accidentally slips there we go so he quickly goes for another like he gets back up and he tries to go for another kick Deku says no, as he basically earth bends to sand at Ida, blinding him. Deku basically grabs some of his water, shooting it at Ida, and freezing it. And they're like, what the? So he can freeze it then. As some of the water is not on Ida, I'd say only his leg actually got frozen, but Ida basically uses one big burst of energy almost like a reciprocal burst but like half the power so he goes for that one kick actually like, skipping from the ice deck was like what the as he gets kicked instant flying i say at this time bakugo would show up because he'd hear all the commotion i'm just wondering what's going on he sees deck and he's like finally i get to ch i'll take him out because that i'm the strongest as he basically goes for an explosion on Deku, Deku's like, no, I can't, I can't be taken out now, I've trained, I can't be taken out now, and, and that hint of, of just energy and adrenaline, he stomps his, or he hits like his ankle, or, what would that be called, not his ankle, but his, uh, his heel, he hits his heel against the floor, basically as Baku's about to hit him, he basically makes a small wall in front of him, or a dome around him, actually. He's thinking, what should he do? But first, I need to make up a plan, but he says, they're going to come out, they're going to break through this eventually. So he basically grabs the sand, or grabs the floor behind him and makes it sand. He falls down, he's like, I need to make a plan, what should I do? And he thinks to himself, the only thing I can do, one massive attack. So he, what he does is he starts... Uh, like, I'd say people are like, looking at him through a camera that's in the w room, and he's like, what the? They're like, what is he doing? As he's doing this weird circling motion ar around his hand, and they start saying, is that a tornado? And he just starts hit throwing it, spinning it faster and faster. And Baku eventually gets through it, and Baku's about to jump through the hole because he sees it. But Deku's like, hurricane orb! As he sends it through, it hits the ceiling above them, or what, what little ceiling is above them, so, at this point, it explodes outward with energy. Deku jumps up, getting all the water out of his, uh, uh, basically out of his suit and the water that was around him, or on Ida still. Getting it all, shooting it all at Bakugo, trying to freeze Bakugo, because if Bakugo is frozen, he can't use his quirk, or he won't be able to use it that much. So he aims for most of Bakugo's upper half. He does freeze most of Baku, but he can still make small explosions. So he's making explosions, burning himself a bit, trying to make more sweat. And it does work slightly, so he is escaping. But Deku's thinking, he's thinking, now it's uh, Ida's turn. So I, Ida is going towards Deku. 
Deku stomps on the floor. And throws one punch at Ida. Basically, sand going around Ida. Somewhat consuming his legs. He's like, what the? As he's trying to move, he can't move. Deku goes for one big, uh, basically, burst of wind at Ida. Basically hitting Ida, releasing the sand, sending Ida fly. But as Ida, I'd say he'd hit the wall, actually knocking, being knocked out. But Bonko would escape. He goes for one big explosion on Deku. It similarly does hit Deku, but Deku basically bends the fire away from him and shoots it back at Baku. Baku just makes one more explosion, blocking it. And here's the sand off Deku versus Baku. Baku quickly runs at Deku, and he's like, he's t saying, "I'm gonna finally show everyone I'm stronger." Just yelling at Deku, "You've been hiding your power from me all these years." Thinking I'm weak, haven't you, Deku? You've been hiding the power that you have since you were a kid. Since we were kids. And he quickly, he's like, no, I'm going to finish you off in one big blast. Show everyone that I am the strongest, Deku. As he basically gets his gauntlets, pulling them, Deku's like, and he gets somewhat, I think he just, he's like, what the heck? What are those? Baku says, as he's about to pull the fence, these two gauntlets are filled with, say, saying that these two gauntlets are filled with my sweat, nitroglycerin sweat, making the two biggest, busy, the two biggest explosions you'll ever see, mixed into one. Let's see, Deku, will you survive? All Might's yelling at Baku, saying that he'll die. Uh, All Might's like, or Baku says, not if he dodges, like in canon. Deku's thinking he has to do something. As he basically hits the hits the floor again, basically commanding all the sand around him to make one big wall, all the like bit chunks of rock that's around him to make one big wall, basically commanding a, a wall, and the explosion hits the wall, basically tearing through. I'd say the first two layers. I'm gonna say that like, there's seven total, so there's only five left. And as it's slowly going through each layer, Dick is like wondering what he should do, and he's trying to keep the last layer together. And he's the explosion's just about to get through. And basically the explosion goes through the wall. And people people are wondering. Mm. Almost like, no. And he immediately as he sees De Deku about to get out, he runs as fast as possible to see to see if Deku's alive. But Deku I'd say he just barely dodged, but the explosion, the force from it, would hit Deku. I, actually I'd say some of his organs would be hurt something a rib would actually uh, caught or broken I'd say he'd be internally bleeding actually he'd be really hurt at this point he'd be really exhausted and he's still gonna fight people people are still watching all might's gone he's rushing to see if Deku's okay and Bako sees Deku just barely there barely any scratches on him Deku's heavily breathing Bako yells at Deku saying so you dodged again you coward as he goes for one big explosion up Deku. I think it actually hits Deku's shoulder. He goes to burn Deku's shoulder just to make him uh, feel pain. Deku would scream in a bit of pain. And all this time, Bako's yelling at Deku. Deku would actually tap into the Avatar state for just a brief second. And as all the past voices of the Avatar combined with Deku's, he says to Bakugo, Yo, this is the final time you see me as weak, Bakugo. Because I will show you the true power that I have. That I can't control. As Deku gets up. His eyes glowing blue. People are watching like, what the? All Might just barely gets there to see Deku. Baku tries to throw an explosion, but the fire just goes around Deku. The water around Deku starts going around to his shoulder and it's healing him he start, he takes part of it starts healing his shoulder there's some burn still but he's healing it mostly some of it most of it's gone but there's still like some burn there then he takes most of the water he starts circling it around him and he yells uh he yells fiery or he says he says blizzard he, he says cold blizzard as he takes 
all the water and the atmosphere in the room and it suddenly gets really hot or it like starts getting warmer but then it starts getting really really cold as Deku takes all the water from around there probably even water that's in the ground and in the air probably some sewer systems he takes all that water and it starts like freezing and starting to get really cold and he yells uh cold blizzard as he shoots this spinning ball basically a hurricane orb but with like water and ice in it shooting it at Bakugo and then shooting all the snow at Bakugo freezing Bak- give me a second sorry about that guys oh my god he's back my brother just keeps messing with me and I'm going I'm going to hit him guys give me a second <sighs> okay guys my brother left he's probably gonna come back in a couple seconds anyway Bakugo gets hit with the, the attack Bako's arms are frozen, his gauntlets frozen, he's just covered in ice. His head is just barely, like, his mouth is just barely there, his eyes, like, his face is just barely not covered. He basically covered his body, hiding his face. And after that, Deku just passed out. But since Bakugo was, uh, not able to move first, I'd say Deku would actually, like, after he, his attack, I brought this back, I'm just gonna finish this. He'd actually fall back, touching. Basically, before he passes out, he's like, out of breath, he's about to pass out, he touches the bomb, all right, seizes, Deku technically wins, I'm ending it off here, guys, bye, see you later.